Lars, Lars Naguna. Mm -hmm. Good job. Nars Laguna. Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel, Bianca Skogan Beauty. Uh, when was the last time I did my blush, bronzer, and highlighter declutters? And it was summertime. So I'm going to be doing all three of those. So that's what time of year it is for my blush, bronzer, and highlighter declutters. These are going to be hard because <laughs> I have a lot of them. I know this about myself, that I have an obsessive personality. I get into something and then I obsess about it and I buy too much and I watch too much and I just, it's who I am. I obsess about something and that is what I have done with makeup. You know, it could be worse. <laughs> there could be worse things that I am obsessing about. Worse than makeup, right? I will be getting rid of as much as I can, but it is always hard for me to declutter because I love them. I'm obsessive and I love all of this, but there is stuff that I don't love. There's stuff that I've gotten through beauty boxes that I just don't love. I didn't purchase it. There's stuff in beauty boxes that I do love, because I do want to be able to see more of my collection, and with all that I have, it is hard to be able to see everything. What I get rid of, I am going to be, most of the time, you know, I keep saying, I keep saying in all of these videos that I'm gonna set up a Poshmark and a Mercari, and I haven't yet. So, one day in the future I will. When that happens, it happens. It hasn't happened yet. So, as of right now, I still have been able to get rid of my collection to friends and family. And so far they still want it. So that's what is going to happen until they tell me they don't want it anymore. And then I'll set up a Poshmark. But for now, it'll go to friends and family. So this first video is going to be, I believe the smallest of my collection, the bronzer. I'm gonna start with easy on myself and I'm gonna go with bronzer. So bronzer first, hope you enjoy it. After that will be probably highlighter and after that we'll we'll do the grand finale with the biggest of my collection blush all right enjoy we've got bronzer weirdly this is my smallest category like out of the three highlighter bronzer and blush which is weird because I say it's not like I like bronzer the least but I guess I do <laughs> that makes sense actually I love blush and I love highlighter so I, I also love bronzer. I just love, I don't love bronzer as much. Do I still have too much bronzer for one face? Yes, yes I do. I am going to organize these. I don't know how. Oh, I know. <laughs> Say the, the highlighter one I did based on like kind of colors, but I can do cream versus powder. Hmm, that makes sense. Okay, I'm gonna organize them and I'm gonna count them and then we can find out how many I have. As in my highlighter one, I wanted to get rid of a third. So that is still my goal to get rid of one third of these bronzers. Let's see if I can do it. Here are my powder bronzers. I counted up how many bronzers I have total and it is 44. So I had 62 highlighters and 44 bronzers, doing better <laughs> better on bronzers than highlighters, but I still wanna get rid of some because I need to be able to see what I have. These top ones are are lighter. They're, they're more of my winter ones. This is more of my summer, and this is these are more shimmery. And they're actually kind of summery as well because I guess I feel like shimmery is kind of a summery, like having a glowing skin is kind of summery as well. Anywho, let's get to this here. So this one, I got this from Marshalls, I believe. I, Marc Jacobs isn't even a brand anymore. I heard whisperings for a bit there that it was gonna be a brand again, but you know, it hasn't happened yet, so I'll believe it when I see it. Then we have ColourPop, Talk to the Palm, Press Bronzer. This one is Fenty in the shade Shady Biz. This one I got from Ice Cream Beauty. It is just Xmina. Then we have Charlotte Tilbury in the shade Medium. Then we have two Pat McGraths because I didn't know what shade to get and I believe I got them for a really good price. I think I got it 50% off. So I was like, well, I can get two. Anyways, this is the shade Bronze Dawn and the shade 
nude honey. They look like, if you look at them right there, they look exactly the same, but they're not. This one's a little bit cooler. And this one I got from Ice Cream Beauty. It's from ZC Cosmetics, and it's from like their Palace Identity kind of collection. And let's talk about it. They're very hard to see when you swatch powder bronzer, especially these lighter ones. Like I feel like these darker ones you can always, you can see, but these lighter ones, it's gonna be hard for you to see what's going on here. I think I should just go quick with it. So here we have Marc Jacobs, ColourPop, Fenty, and then this right here, I did a two swatches and it's on my knuckle, um, but this one is this one that has this ombre, the Jess Xmina one. So here's the lighter side and the darker side. So this lighter one is my skin tone. <laughs> So, uh, and then the darker side is a little bit darker, obviously. I think we should keep this Marc Jacobs. I feel like it is, I've gotten some sunshine during the summertime, so I have a bit of a tan and I use fake tanner. So this is not my skin tone that I'll be in the summertime or in the winter time, but I don't really change that much. <laughs> so it's, I still think that this will be too light. And I still think that this will be too light. So these two are just going to be too light for me in even in the winter time and how I prefer a bronzer I am kind of lazy and I also usually when I'm putting on my makeup I'm in a hurry and so having to build up and build up and build up and build up does not appeal to me because I'm usually in a hurry and so having a, a bronzer that I need to build for an hour is not fun so we're gonna get rid of this I believe I have decluttered this before and then I pulled it back out because I was like oh it's Fenty it's the wrong shade Bianca it is too light for you I believe I got this shade thinking from another youtuber who's probably like fair skin toned and I'm more like light to light light in the winter time and light medium in the summertime and so it's just not working out for me so we're gonna get rid of Fenty and we're gonna get rid of this just Xmina so then we have this row over here and we have Charlotte Tilbury right here and then we have Pat McGrath, Pat McGrath, and then this ZC. So we're definitely keeping Charlotte Tilbury, which, you know, it's a little bit light for me too. I wish this were deeper. And it's funny because this is a medium. Medium usually is pretty deep for me. Like this one is a medium, this is a medium, this is a medium, and these are really quite deep for me. And this is medium, but it's a li it's, it's light. But we're gonna keep it because it, I spent too much money on this to get rid of it. <laughs> But I feel like this one right here, this Pat McGrath, I spent a lot of money on this one too, but it's just, it's really light. And I'm making excuses here to get rid of things because I'm trying to get rid of things. And if I need to make an excuse to get rid of it, I'm gonna do that because how else am I gonna get rid of these? I have too many for one face, so I'm gonna get rid of this one because I just feel like it is too light, even in the winter time. We're getting rid of those three and we're keeping those five. Okay, now we have this side. We have that one is from Nabla. This one is from LYS. This is Kaleidos, and technically this is a blush, but it's so brown toned that I just use it as a bronzer. And this one as well, this is Dior. This is also a blush, but you know what? I use it as a bronzer. So we have Nabla, LYS, Kaleidos, and then this one is from NYX. And there we go, that one's from NYX. Then we have right here, Give Me Glow Cosmetics right here. And then we have Glowish, which is, you know, I think actually Huda Beauty is shutting down this brand. Then we have this Dior one, and then we have this one from Becca. Cool, right there. Okay, like this, I like this, I like this, and I like this. So we're keeping this whole row. I feel like these are really good tones for the summertime for me. Okay, now this row. I feel like if I want a warm toned bronzer, or I feel like this one is good. This is a little bit too warm for me. It's it's too reddish. And I just, yeah. So we're gonna get rid of this one. I have this, don't need this. Bye. I don't, this, I actually, this is my second from this Glowish Bronzers that I got. I got originally one that was light and it, it was so light that I couldn't get it to show up at all. So then I got a mini because I was like, okay, we're gonna try again. And I got, this one is light tan, I think. Yes, light tan, tan light, because I was like that tan, I am not tan. I am, if anything, I'm light medium. I am not light tan. Tan is way usually too dark for me. And this one is right here. And it just is, I have to build this thing up to get any color out. And that's a pain in my neck, so that is going. I feel like this one, 
is too dark. This Give Me Glow one, I just feel like um, I barely touch it and I'm like, oh my gosh, that's a lot. Get rid of that one. I just realized that I'm missing a bronzer. I need to go see if I can find that bronzer. I'm gonna keep the rest of those. So I got rid of those three. I think I'm doing okay so far. So I'm gonna swatch these and look for that other bronzer. We have these last five. I found the bronzer. It's from LA Colors. So that makes it so I actually have 45 bronzers, which makes it, I wanted to get rid of the third. That makes it an even 15 bronzers that I need to try to get rid of. Anyways, so here we have my swatches. This one is from Bo Babe Beauty. This one is from NARS. This one is from RMS Beauty, Kosas, and I said LA Colors. Okay, this one is actually, I believe, a highlighter. Nope, it says achieve any level of bronze, day or night for all skin tones, and it's called Deep Bronze. Okay, I remember getting this one in either Ice Cream Beauty or Slight Glam Beauty and being very confused. Because if you look at it, it looks like a highlighter. But that is too dark of a highlighter for me. And it's too shiny for a bronzer for me. I just feel like they're trying to hit all the skin tones and it's just not working out. I don't know what to do with this, so it's going. Cool, great. Okay, then we have NARS, we have RMS, we have Kosas, and we have LA Colors. And you know, I like this, I like this little baby NARS because it's so, It's I think it's Laguna, because it's so little and it's so, you know, compact and travel size. And so is it the best color for me? I don't know, it seems a little bit almost yellow toned, but it works. It, it's fine and I like how little it is. The next one from RMS, this one is in the shade Malibu Muse. It's pretty, it's nice, it's shiny, it's, it's, it's pretty. Then we have from Kosas, this, is actually a funny one. Kosas is interesting because they don't put enough preservatives in their makeup and so that they all go bad quick. <laughs> but I feel like a lot of people are talking about how their Kosas bronzers are like smell like fry oil. And I feel like mine, it doesn't smell super great, but I don't feel like it smells different than it always smelled like. And it's such a, a pretty color. And so I'm keeping it. Yeah. Okay, now this LA Colors. This one is very dark on me and it's kind of almost like chunky. It kind of is sticking to my hairs, but <laughs> I kind of like it. I like it because it's so thin. It is so thin and compact. It will fit anywhere. It's, it's like this one fit, but it's even thinner than this little NARS one. And so I like it. <laughs> I like it. Can all brown, yeah, is there probably, can I hit pan on this one in like no time because there's barely any product on it? In it, yeah, but did I pay $1.25 for it? So it's worth it. <laughs> I like it, I think it's a great bronzer. So I only got rid of one out of that five, but we'll see. We'll see how I do with getting rid of 15. Here are some cream bronzers. I guess there is a liquid, this one, but mostly just cream. Okay, so the top row is mostly my winter lighter toned bronzers. The bottom, the middle row is more summer toned bronzers. And this row was what wouldn't fit. <laughs> I guess there's some shimmers, what wouldn't fit. And then these ones are like, you know, they're, they're both. They are cream and, and powder. Let's start with this hand, because that is the top row. Here is Revolution Beauty, right there. So this one, I have two Revolution Beauties right here. So we have this first one, which is light, and this second one, which is medium. A lot of the time I'll get things in both light and medium. If there is a actual one that says light medium, that usually is perfect for me, but light usually works really good for me in the wintertime and medium in the summertime-ish. That is not all the time working out because we'll find out that this medium in the revolution is pretty pretty dark so it i think it's spoiler it's probably going to get decluttered revolution abh rare beauty fenty fenty so the fenty stick and then the fenty cream uh then we have charlotte tilbury milk and tart okay great so i think i like this revolution with the light is really nice. We're gonna keep it. This 
is a little bit yellow toned. I want, I, I, I'm on the fence about it. So I think we're going to put it in the, the first one that I'm going to put on the chopping block because it is a little bit yellow toned. And so I feel like it's a good tone for like, like deepness wise, but it has too much yellow, like mustardy to it. But so it's going to go because I mean, look how much there is in there. I think this has a full ounce. So it's something that I kind of want to keep, but we're putting it in the chopping block because we don't need to declutter it unless we need to declutter it. Okay. Then we have this one from Rare Beauty. And this one I got in a Ipsy box. Ooh, it's, it has bronzer on it. Great. And it's just too light for me. It has, if you can see it, it is really quite close to my skin tone right here. And so is this one. So these two are going to get decluttered because as I talked about before, I don't like when bronzers, I have to build them up too much because I am lazy. And so this one is in the shade Bright Side and it is just too close to my skin tone for a bronzer. And this one is in the shade Amber. Also, it's just, it's supposed to be, you know, a, a contour cooling. And I feel like that's what this one is. And this one is deeper and is better for me than this one. Why I, okay, I was about to say, why do I need two contours? Well, you have 45 bronzers, so. <laughs> okay, anywho. Wow, that was really angry, but I think I can get rid of this one. Cool, now we have this one. This is from Fenty. I have had this in many declutter videos and I think I may have actually decluttered it and then I brought it back because I love the shade name, Butter Biscuit, and I think I always try to make it work because it's Fenty and it's so pretty, but it just, doesn't look good on me. It does, I wear it and then I'm like, Bianca, why are you trying to make this work? I think it would work for someone with a lighter skin tone than me. And that is actually, I, I think it was Khaki Reviews Beauty who was the one who was talking about it. And she is much fairer than I am. She has like a fair, fair skin tone and I have more of a light skin tone. So it's just, why am I trying? Why am I trying to make this work when it doesn't work? Let's just declutter it. So cool, decluttered. We're going to keep Charlotte Tilbury right here. We're going to keep Milk right here. And we're gonna keep this cute, tiny little tart in the shade Breezy. So yay, getting rid of three and keeping four and having one on the chopping block. Okay, now this next row right here. Okay, I already gave you guys a clue that I was getting rid of this one because it is so dark. That is way too dark for my skin tone. And so same with this NARS one. I actually really like this NARS. Um, I would like to really like this one because it's Lars, what? Lars Naguna. Mm -hmm. Good job, NARS Laguna. And it's in the original Laguna too. And I thought, you know, that would be a perfect shade for me. They are both too deep for me. Also, this one is starting to like dry out. You can kind of see a little bit maybe that it is separating from the lid a little bit. It's starting to dry out and that's, super disappointing to me. So I'm going to be decluttering both of those because I just think they're too dark for me. Even in the summertime when I have a little bit of a tan and a fake tan, they're just too dark for me. So goodbye. Okay. Then I have this rare beauty one, which this rare beauty is perfect for me. This one is in the shade happy soul. It is perfect. I love it. It's perfect. It's great. So we're keeping that one. Then we have this one from LYS. This one's really nice in the shade harmony really nice. It is a little bit dark, but because it blends out so nice, it, it just, it's really nice. It's a really good, perfect shade. Okay. Then we have this one from Huda Beauty and this one, these ones, these Tantor ones run a little bit dark. So I purposefully, like I told, I think I was mentioning that a lot of the time I'll try to go with like light medium because that's usually what I wear. But this one, I knew from reading reviews that it, it runs darker. And so I got the light and look at how dark that light is. Anyways, I think it's still pretty good for me. Then we have this milk one. This, oh my gosh, it's filthy. Bianca, clean your stuff before you get on, on the camera. Anyways, I have a little baby one because this one is old and smells bad and is like wax. It's not soft and um, like emollient anymore. It's hard and waxy and stinky. And we're going to, probably throw this in the trash. I don't think it can be given away. I think it needs to be thrown in the trash. And this is the size that they used to be. They were huge. The, okay, I was gonna say, this is a mini. This I got for, for like as a sample. This is the size they are now. 
can you can you believe that the size difference but this was just too big not many people could get through this size so we're gonna get rid of that and we're gonna keep this little mini one because it is perfect they're the same color it was just this one's so more emollient and works better okay then we have this one from tower 28 and this is when tower 28 came out with like contour shades which this is not really even that much of a contour can you see how that is still pretty darn warm um they're just not sparkly like these ones these these bronzino ones are sparkly so i i'm gonna keep it i love everything tower 28 so i'm gonna keep it then we have this from phytosurgeons and this one is actually quite quite dark but um it blends out really nicely plus i just kind of got this kind of recently so we're gonna keep it getting rid of six and I'm going to swatch these and we'll see where we go. Okay. Here's the last row. I have it swatched out right here. We have tower 28 in West coast and then in best coast, West coast, best coast, and then RMS. I know I haven't said all the names, but you know, a little bit of here, a little bit of there. This one is in pretty bronzer. Um, then we have from Persona, this one's in Dune, right here. Then we have from Charlotte Tilbury in Fair Medium. Then we have this Patrick Ta one in She's Sculpted. And this one from Give Beauty in Pick It Up, or in Toasted. Okay, so I love Tower 28. Those are staying this one's really pretty and i just got it as i was saying in that anniversary sale i like this one from persona fair so I, I i mean or dune i mean those are staying i like them i love this one this one i got was it for my birthday or valentine's day or something i i just mother's day i think it was mother's day anyways it's these two these two i was actually thinking before i swatched them out that i was gonna get rid of this one because the pan sizes are kind of small. And so I usually have a hard time getting a brush in to these. And, and so it makes it frustrating for me. And I was like, and I love Patrick Ta, and I'm gonna keep the Patrick Ta, and I'm gonna get rid of the give. Well, after swatching them, the Patrick Ta, like look at, I had to build this and build this and build this to get anything to layer up. And this one from the give one, it swat, swipe, bleh, it swatched beautifully. I'm like, oh crud. My thought process was that I was going to, you know, get rid of Give and keep Patrick Ta. And now I'm, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I think I'm gonna put the Patrick Ta in. Wait, let's just put them both on the chopping block because I don't know. I, I don't know what to do there. So, and maybe this, this, I, you know, I don't, I wish that I had this one. Okay, you know what? I was gonna say, I wish I had it against the other, the other stick bronzers. And I can do that. I can do that. I can put it up against the other stick bronzers because I feel like I want to see what we're working with uh, stick bronzer wise. Okay, so Rare Beauty, Persona, LYS, Rare Beauty. I feel like these two shades are the shades that I like. This one was too light and this one, I mean, okay, maybe it's a good winter shade and these two shades are summer shades. So that one actually is a good winter shade. Okay, we're gonna still keep getting rid of this one, this bright side though. Okay, so I guess I'm keeping it. <laughs> I don't, <laughs> it's hard, this is hard. Okay, here is my declutter pile. And unfortunately we are at 13. <laughs> I keep getting so close. In the highlighter declutter, I was so close. Do I have to actually hit one third? No. I don't want to be getting rid of things just to hit that goal because I don't want to get rid of things that I like to hit a goal. That's silly. But this Anastasia Beverly Hills one can go because I was talking about how I didn't really like the color. So that one can go. And that gives me 14. Now these two, I don't need to get rid of both of them because then I'll be over. Um, I, I could if I wanted to, but I honestly feel like I don't need to. Uh, let's, this one, I feel like it's just not performing how it used to. It does have a shelf life of 12 months and I, I am pretty darn sure it's been over 12 months. Although, I mean, like 
I, I keep my makeup way longer than 12 months if I'm going to be honest with you but this one I know I have had I haven't had as long it actually has a shelf life of 18 months I feel like it is it's just looks better than the Patrick Ta so I think I can make 15 without overdoing it without like getting rid of things that I don't want to get rid of and so here we go I'm getting rid of 15 bronzers and I'm keeping 30 bronzers Wow it is weird to me that I'm keeping a dollar 25 bronzer that LA looks bronzer and getting rid of like NARS which is expensive and Patrick Ta which is expensive but you know these are just not working for me this this one is old and not working this one's drying up eh. And Pat McGrath, that, that one's like the most expensive, I think. So anyways, is it weird? It's weird, but it is what's happening. There we go. Getting rid of 15 bronzers. Wow. I didn't think I could do it, but I did it. I'm pretty proud of myself. All right. Well, if you like this video, like this video. If you want to see more from me, subscribe to my channel and click the bell to be notified of my videos of the blush declutter will be coming up next so stay tuned for that one most importantly be nice to yourself because you're amazing have a great day bye